Welcome back there my beautiful legendaries. I told you I was going to be doing a PC review, so here it is. The NZXT Phantom Case, that is it. No, ex no special model name to it. You can find that one NZXT.com to find this case. It's around $110, not a bad case. You can buy the additional side case with the plexiglass, which I will be buying eventually when I get the money. Um, that big beast right there, that is my CPU cooler. Uh, the V8 GTS. It is a beast and it was a pain to install. I might install the raw footage of the PC build, but I haven't fully decided yet. Well, I might just fully disassemble this PC and re-build uh, it, basically. Like I said, it gives me time to actually clean all my parts. As you see, some of it's a little dusty. You can see there. But, that's what you get for over a year's of time. And my graphics card is the R9 280X Sapphire Edition Vapor X. So it runs the coolest. And, as you guys see, it is running. And I want to show you this. You can't do this with most CTU coolers. I can touch this fan and it is cool as day. That's how cool this thing stays. And I love it. But you cannot find this one in particular anywhere. The three fans blue and black. I have looked almost everywhere for it. I cannot find it. And I would love to have two of them. But... I have what I have and it does the performance that I need. Uh, my power supply, also known as the PSU, it's the Leafa, it's a thousand watts, it runs the card. That power supply can run me a crossfire card if I'd find the exact replica of that one. But for other than that, just 950 watts runs this card beautifully. And it doesn't always constantly draw that so no worries. My hard drives are here. My solid state is back there, which is the Kingston 240 gig, one terabyte each when each hard drive, blue drives, just for a little better performance wise. One of them is games and one of them is not. Um I'll have to find out which is which sometime and actually write them because they actually confuse the hell out of me. Um sticks of RAM, you can't really see them that well. There you can see them. Um, four G, G Scale Sniper Series. I actually got a great deal on those, so that's why I bought four of the eight gigs. I want plus 32 is sort of overkill, but all at the same time, it's not. Um, what else is there? I can't show you the CPU because I'm taking the damn thing apart to show you that. I might do that in a later video um, of me rebuilding it because I do plan on. Water cooling this completely and getting rid of that fan and putting the fan up to the side sometime for maybe another later build. So this is basically a small PC review. Not very long, not a whole lot to it. Like I said, most of it is all into the um, windows itself. But the keyboard... Of course, is the TTE Sport uh, backlit. I have six of the T function keys here. I have multiple keys up in here to change colors and whatnot. I can lock the Windows key there so I don't press it by accident by any gameplay. And I only have three colors blue, purple, and red. But the purple, I'm pretty sure I can make it into. A light pink, well, a darkish pink, but that's about it. Um, my camera is there. It is a C270 Logitech. I think that's the one it was. That's not real expensive. It only records in 720, so. My headset stays here most of the time, unless I'm gaming. But that's just, the stand I bought was on eBay for like five bucks. Not a bad deal cords pretty well. The only bad thing is it falls over quite often. Um, just by the easiest movements. Controller. Micro Xbox 360 controller. Not really all that bad of a controller. I paid 34 and The only thing wrong with it though is that quit working on me. 
Yes, this is the beauty. And yeah, I have one giant fan up here. It's blowing in. The fan blows out. These two fans blow in onto the hard drive, and the power supply is blowing up and back out. Like so, and if it's less heat in the case. And all the heat is being extorted out of it. This has two fans on it. Both of them blow inwards on top of the um, heat sink down the middle there. Keeping the CPU at its coolest. I think Fahrenheit wise that I can really remember. The CPU doesn't get any hotter than maybe 80 degrees. So that is actually fantastic for as hot as my room can get because I don't have AC in my room like most YouTubers do. So I burn my ass off. Yes, I will go maybe into a little more detailed video later on of when I disassemble it and when I can water cool everything. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. You guys know what those buttons are. Show, show the video with your friends, your enemies, just hit the share button. Let's show some love to this channel. Help grow it so I can help grow other YouTube channels. And be sure to show um, Shots of Patron some um, love down in the description below. So, let's see what we can do, y'all. Let's get it done. Legendary out.